Okay, so check this out. I stumbled upon this OSINT tool called Blackbird that does crazy fast searches across over 600 platforms. How wild is that? No way, that's super impressive. It sounds like a one-stop shop for digging up usernames and emails. How does it even work? Right, so it combines username and email searches, which are super speedy. Plus, it offers AI-powered profiling to give a behavioral view of users. Oh wow, an AI engine that analyzes where a username's found. That's pretty cool. What kind of profiles does it generate? Exactly. It gives you behavioral and technical insights about the user without sharing any sensitive data, just the site names. Pretty sleek. That's actually kind of amazing. I mean, think about it. Getting a profile without compromising anyone's personal info is a game changer. Totally. And it's free with just a fair daily limit for usage. It's like a cool hacker tool, but ethical. Wait, so anyone can use it? That's a bit nerve-wracking. I mean, how do they handle the potential for misuse? Good point. They include a disclaimer emphasizing that it, it's for educational use only. But still, it's, it's a slippery slope, isn't it? Definitely. But I love how user-friendly the setup seems. You just clone the repo and have it running in no time. It's super straightforward. Just a few commands and you're off to the races. You can search by username or email with ease. Can you imagine the possibilities for some serious sleuthing? I feel like this could help in online investigations or verifying identities. Exactly. Plus, exporting results into PDF or CSV makes it handy for keeping track of findings. So practical. Wow. If I were running a research project, this would be invaluable. Just think about how it reduces false positives. Right? The integration with What's My Name also adds more context, making it even more powerful. I love community-driven projects. They really highlight how collaboration can lead to such advanced tools. Yeah, and it's like the users make it better over time by sharing insights and improvements. What a cool cycle. True, but it makes me wonder about the ethical lines in gathering OSINT. Where should society draw the line? That's a huge question. I mean, there's a balance between privacy and the public's right to know. It gets murky, doesn't it? Definitely. It feels like with great power comes great responsibility. I mean, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Exactly. And seeing how tools evolve, we need to remain vigilant about potential misuse. But it's so fascinating. For sure. It's like watching a double-edged sword in action. The potential for good versus potential for harm. And speaking of potential, did you see how the AI profiling works seamlessly with the username searches? Oh, yeah. It's like getting a crystal ball into someone's online behavior without violating their privacy. So clever. Right? And that's the beauty of tech. It can work for good if used wisely. Such an exciting territory to explore. This episode is blowing my mind. I'm picturing how law enforcement or even journalists might utilize it. Absolutely. Imagine a journalist digging into public records or identities for a story. It could really elevate their reporting. And on the flip side, you can see how important it is for users to monitor their digital footprint. Totally agree. More people need to be aware of how they show up online. It ties back into personal privacy. What a balance to strike, especially as technology evolves. I can only imagine the developments in the next few years. It's going to be wild, and I'm curious, how far can we take this idea of public persona versus private identity? What do you think? It raises so many questions about authenticity online. Like how much of ourselves do we really want to share? Exactly. And how much can we control what others find? I mean, Blackbird offers insight, but doesn't necessarily represent the full picture. Ah, that's a crucial point. It's like we're all curating our digital selves, but the truth can be so fluid. Right? So if we put all this together, what does it say about us as a society? Do we need more transparency? Well, it seems like we're on a crossroads, embracing tech while advocating for privacy. That's a tightrope walk. And it's so fascinating. Where we go from here is really going to shape the future. Exciting but scary, right? Definitely. And I'm left wondering, as individuals, how can we leverage tools like Blackbird while staying ethically sound? That's the million-dollar question. Balancing innovation with ethics. Can we navigate that without losing our way? Yes. And I think this conversation really highlights how important it is to engage with these technologies thoughtfully. For sure. It's all about being curious and questioning the implications of what's at our fingertips. So exciting. And really, it makes me think, let's keep the dialogue alive around privacy and tech. There's so much more to explore.
Absolutely. I can't wait to see where our curiosity takes us next. This is just the beginning.